In this video, I'd like to show you how to use an energy diagram to determine the change in energy for a reaction and the activation energy for a reaction. First, we'll work on the change in energy. The change in energy, or sometimes called the enthalpy, can be determined using this simple equation. Delta E, or sometimes it's noted as delta H, equals the energy of the products minus the energy of the reactants. So in the energy diagram, one needs to find the energy of the reactants and the energy of the products. In these energy diagrams, the energy of the reactant is where the curve begins. So with reaction A, the energy of the reactants is 125 kilojoules per mole. And the energy of the products is where the curve ends and the energy for the products is 25 kilojoules per mole. After substituting those values into the equation, the change in energy is negative 100 kilojoules per mole. By convention, negative change in energies, in this case negative 100, would imply an exothermic reaction. The change in energy for reaction B is positive 25 kilojoules, indicating this is an endothermic reaction. Now we'll determine the activation energy for both reactions using the energy diagram. Activation energy is always positive. It's energy that is needed for the reaction to take place. The activation energy is represented in the diagram between two points the peak of the curve and the energy of the reactants. So the activation energy for reaction A is 25 kilojoules per mole and the activation energy for reaction B is 75 kilojoules per mole. 